Welcome back to Rebuild Rescue. Today, we're going to get inside the 401 and we're going to clean this thing out. I'm honestly kind of worried about cleaning this up. It's just that dirty, it's that grungy. I don't know how good we can make it, but we're gonna try our best. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna get this thing cleaned up today. We're gonna rip out the seats, we're gonna pull the carpets out, we're gonna steam the walls, the ceiling, we're gonna clean up all the gauges, all the switches. We're gonna do our best to get this thing as clean as possible. And if it comes nearly as clean as the outside, it's gonna look amazing. And don't forget, subscribe to the channel, like all the videos and turn on your notifications so you guys are the first ones to see the newest video come out. I wanted to take a minute and introduce this week's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online community of learning. They have 27,000 online courses. Say 27,000? 27,000. Wow. I got to learn about Skillshare months ago when we first started our YouTube channel. I didn't know much about video editing, and I wanted to learn more. I ended up taking the Advanced Adobe Premiere Pro 2020 course by Jordy Vanderput. It was such an amazing class. I learned so many new skills. One of the cool things about Skillshare is it is completely ad-free and there's new classes added every single week. So anytime you wanna extend your learning, just pick a new class. The first 1,000 people to click the link below will receive one free month trial of Skillshare. Make sure you guys check out Skillshare. It's an awesome company. They have so much to offer. Thank you for supporting the sponsors that support the channel and help us to continue to do projects like the 401 and so many other awesome projects that we have coming your way. So let's get back to the 401. We had so many of you reach out about these two headsets. The only fair way I know to give these away is going to be, I'm going to write down everybody's names and put them in a drawing and we'll draw it live. There may be another headset or two in there as well. And if so, I'm gonna put those in the drawing too. Now, the one catch is I need to see pictures of these you know, restored. I need to see pictures of what you guys did with them because I wanna make sure that if they can be saved, that they are saved and that they're used again. Can't wait to see the pictures of them. I can't wait to give these away. Thank you guys for being part of the channel. And, and thank you guys for reaching. I love hearing from each and every one of you. Today we had Eric from the AOPA stop by the hangar and check out the 401. So yeah. what do you think about this thing? <laughs> well, number one, it's a lot nastier than what I saw at home. I know you told me you cleaned it up a little bit, but um, honestly, this thing is disgusting. I, yeah, I it's crazy. You know, when you, when you watch the videos, it's so hard to see how dirty this thing is and was. I mean, this is actually even after, you know, clean, cleaning it up. It's a feather. <laughs> There's a feather, right? So we did get the exterior done. We're gonna get the interior done today. It was really cool having Eric stop by. If you guys haven't checked out the AOPA, they do so much for aviation. It's insane. I mean, just, just check them out. Check out this tiger. You guys are giving a tiger away. Yeah, so I was just over at Smoketown, which is 10 minute flight from here. It's just got done with paint and interiors up next and it, it looks amazing. You're so, not gonna believe it when you see it. <laughs> so Eric invited me over there the other day. I really wanna win it. If I built an airplane, that would be the airplane I'd yeah. do. Like literally everything done to it. I was in awe. I'm a little jealous. How can they, you know, get in contact with AOPA? You know, what are some of the resources or channels? Yeah, so our, our best resource is probably our website, aopa.org. If you okay. want to learn about the tiger, aopa.org slash sweeps. And then um, we're on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Oh my Twitter, gosh, so you guys are like everywhere. LinkedIn, yeah. yeah. Sounds good. And hey, thank you for stopping by here, man. Thanks for I, letting uh, me. I can't wait uh, to check out the Tiger when it's done. Um, hopefully I can talk you into, uh, you know, maybe taking me uh, maybe up in it a little bit, maybe flying a little bit. We'll have to see what happens. So cool, <laughs> awesome brother. Thank you guys.
All right, so we got most of the trash items out. Some of the old flight manuals and, and airport maps and all the books that you used to have to have before iPads and, and all the modern technology that we have today. So that stuff's all out. We did get uh, some of the stuff that we wanted to keep a hold of. Now we're gonna, we're gonna pop the seats out and then we'll probably vacuum out the whole inside and then we'll pop the carpet out. All right, so we got two rear seats out and we've got to take these, these fold out trays out to get this middle set of seats out because they run into them when they're sliding out. All right, so we got the four seats out. Actually, we know there's, there's five seats. We got the five seats out. With the potty seat, we got the fold-out tables out. I'm so disgusted being in here right now because there's just so much stuff I'm crawling through and it's all over me. There's like dust everywhere. And in these suits and with the mask on and stuff and being inside there, it's just extremely hot. So I think I'm gonna grab the, the shop vac and we're just gonna suck out as much stuff as possible and then we'll get on the front seats, we'll get the front seats unbolted and we'll get them out.
you get me some gloves? They're in my black toolbox. That has to be one of the nastiest, most disgusting things I've ever vacuumed up. So as I'm vacuuming everything up in there, I'm seeing rat poop, mouse poop, bird poop, probably spider poop, a bunch of spiders, a ton of eaten seeds and just all kinds of stuff. But just vacuuming all that stuff up, you can really see like how nice it is underneath. So I'm really excited to see once we get this carpet out and get it pressure washed and, and get it cleaned up. All right, guys, so I'm gonna rush to head out on our family ski vacation. But last night, after working on the 401 interior, we did set another trap to see if there's any more mice in the 401. Let's take a look. So, yes, there was another mouse. Sam said he thought he saw a smaller mouse than the one we caught. So here is mouse number two. And this time it ate all of the peanut butter. We'll have to get him outside and we'll let him go where we let the last one go. I guess we need to name this one. So the first one was Piper. I think we'll name this one Bo after this awesome VTL Bonanza that sits here in the hangar. So mouse number two, we're naming Bo. Let's go set him loose. Too scared of me, that's for sure. How old are you, Jason? Okay. All right. That's my breath before I get on the radio or else. So, we have a clinic here right at the bottom. Do you have to go see a doctor? Um, yeah. I'll have to get a splint and all yeah. that fun stuff. For sure. Stuff and then get over to the hospital or get x rays. So I know what yeah, I Yeah, they'll do all that there. Well, I do. Right here, yeah. We'll take care of you. A 44 year old male, got me. I got everything I need. Awesome, thank you.
in there, believe it or not. Where was it? Uh, the ACL. Okay. And then we're So it turns out that not only cars or airplanes need rebuild rescue, sometimes knees do as well when you're skiing and you wreck. So I'm about an hour away from going back for surgery. So wish me luck. All right guys, so I'm back out of surgery. Everything went well. It looks like I have a steel plate in the side of my leg and some screws holding me together. So it was truly a rebuild rescue. Now we just got to heal so we can get back in the hangar and get back to work again. We'll be back. <laughs>